this video I'm going to talk briefly about the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs are going to be organisms that make their own food. I want to talk briefly about that prefix auto. It just sort of reminds me of like the idea of self thinking like autobiography. Um, and so an autotroph makes their own food by themselves. Um, most autotrophs carry out the process of photosynthesis and uh, will typically be called, um, another word for autotrophs is producers. And when we uh, get into ecology, uh, we'll talk more about producers. Uh, just generally a definition for photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which the energy from sunlight is used to make glucose, whose chemical formula you do need to know is C6H12O6. Glucose, um, using that O sending, is of course a carbohydrate. And it makes glucose from carbon dioxide and water, the whole bunch of steps. Um, and again, breaking down photosynthesis into words, you have a photo, which will mean light, and synthesis, which is like going to be building. Okay? So we are building using the energy from light. We are making glucose using light energy. Um, autotrophic organisms that can do photosynthesis include organisms like plants, algae, and ba some bacteria, not all bacteria, specific type of bacteria that you'll hear frequently about being photosynthetic are cyanobacteria, that prefix, or um, you might hear that word uh, cyan when you change the ink on your printer. Heterotrophs, on the other hand, are going to be organisms that cannot make their own food. Hetero prefix, which we will use uh, a lot in genetics, will mean uh, different. So that's something like they are getting their food from some other source than themselves, okay? A different source than themselves, unlike autotrophs. Um, they get their food by consuming other organisms. They don't make their food. They get it by eating other things. And therefore, you will also hear them referred to as consumers. Note that heterotrophs can eat autotrophs, so they can eat plants, or they can eat other heterotrophs. So that would be like us as humans eating another animal that then eats a plant. And we'll talk more about that and food chains and webs again in ecology. Examples of heterotrophs will be animals, fungi, and many single-celled organisms.